Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. And it looks like some men have placed a couple of grass blocks here in my UFO, that I've never completed. In other news, I've been doing some work off camera, and I've noticed a problem. Uh, we don't have much ice, uh, at all. And no, no blue ice at all, to be exact. Um, we don't have a whole lot of... Packed ice, and this is the only ice farm we have, this thing right here, it's quite pitiful actually. Um, this is our ice preserve, this is all the ice we have, as far as I know. Um, all the packed ice I get, I get from like a thousand or two blocks over that way, in a nice spiked biome. And, yeah, it's not enough really. Um, for the big projects that are far away, I need to have a fast ice tunnel to get to in the nether, and packed ice just isn't fast enough, so... We need blue ice. And I've decided it's about time that we actually build an ice farm that's a bit bigger than this. Just a smidge bigger than that, really. Um, I've been coming up with some designs, and I've come up with one, but we're not going to use it in this world, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to use it in my Doom Tech world, however. Uh, it is very fast, or it should be, once it's all built up, but the problem that it has is it's not particularly fast for the effort you would put in unless you built the whole thing. So we're not gonna do that. Instead we're gonna set off something a little more subtle. Um, I'm probably gonna use Nembom's design for an AFK farm because I don't know I, j I don't really feel like doing too much redstone these days um, in this world at least so yeah we'll, pro we'll probably just set off something simple and yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see. M maybe I do want to make some kind of big ice cube that I didn't mine away. But, yeah, that's, got to, that's, that's probably a bit too much work for me. I, I'm kind of lazy. So, yeah, let's get on with the work, shall we? So, I'm thinking we're going to build it right around here on this patch of land. We need a 6x6 six six chunk area to build the AFK one. And this looks flat enough, I think. I'll, I might need to level this bit here. Um, so I can save on resources and not have to place a whole bunch of stuff down. And yeah, I think I think this is a good location. So I'm gonna set up another portal real quick, and we'll get on with the work, shall we? All right, everybody. So I've dug out this whole area. And I've got some snow prepared. I think I want to build this farm out of snow. So I'm just going to start putting some stuff down over here. So it's going to be six blocks wide here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's going to go all the way to the other end over there. And over here, I'm actually changing the Nembom's design a little bit because I found a way to make it a bit more efficient space-wise. Over here, I'm going to put some stairs and I'm going to waterlog them. And then that will save one whole block of space. So basically, you can fit over one and a half as over one and a half more of these strips along this whole six by six chunk perimeter. Um, re realistically, you can only fit one more in the whole six chunk perimeter. But I think I'm going to dig out that little bit over there a little bit more, and then I'm gonna make it go a little bit further than it should. But it shouldn't really affect the rates too badly. Um, in fact, I think it will make it a lot better because I'll be spending more time l loading this part of the farm. So, yeah, I think it'll just work out pretty good. So, I'm just gonna do all my snow stuff here and I'll get back to you. Alright, so I got all of the snow here and I expanded a little bit that way and... Yeah, it's all good. Now I just need to get a whole load of wood. Alright, so this bottom right corner is going to be where we start. And this design has me use stairs. And I decided to use birch stairs. Totally remembered the name. And uh, yeah, I calculated I'm going to need about 8 stacks of birch logs. So I got those. As just for the stairs, I'm going to need to get a whole bunch of signs as well, equally as many, um, if not more actually. 
and I, I don't know what where to go with for that, but I think birch as well because the colors will match. And yeah, this is how the stairs will be done. And then on this side, it will go this way. And then that, this little lip is going to be on that side over there. And that's and all of these stairs will be waterlogged. The corner doesn't have to be, but I'm going to waterlog it as well, just just so it's symmetrical. And yeah, that's going to be quite fun for the next little while here. My calculations might have been slightly off, but we got there in the end. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of stairs, and now I'm going to need to do a lot of signs, and then only then can I waterlog this. And then I'm going to need to make iceways all along here, and water to push you, and waterlog all these stairs, of course. So, it's almost done, but still quite a bit more to do. Alright, so I've placed in all of the ice, all of the signs, all of the stairs, everything is ready to go here. So now we just need to start flooding this all up. Um, a second bucket would be rather useful here. Uh, and I really hope that this is going to work. Because I know you can, yes, you can create instant water sources through the stairs. That That's going to make this not too bad to do, actually. So I think I'm going to do... Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do these ones first, and then I'm going to do all of these strips. Uh, you'll see why, because then ice is going to start forming here, and it's going to be a bit harder to place in all of these, and I'm just going to make all of these with ice, I think. So, uh, first one goes over here, and then just continues like this. Alright, so I placed all the water, and... Uh, we're about to see what this does. Uh, I already know what it's going to do. It's going to do that. So just watch it <laughs> watch it go down over there. And then ice should start forming. Yeah, it does. And sodium appears to be messing up with some ice blocks. Um, I'm, I'm stopped using Optifine recently. In fact, just yesterday. I'm now using Iris because Iris is just way better than Optifine. Um, it comes bundled with sodium, so... It has a much better performance, and I can toggle shaders just like that. And yeah, that's pretty much why I switched over to Iris rather than playing with Optifine, and I love it, and I cannot say just how great it is. But yeah, and now I just need to do this a whole bunch more times, and then we're all good. Uh, the Ice Farm will be complete. So yeah, let me go sleep, and then I'll finish this up real quick. All right, so the ice farm is actually complete now. Um, there is actually one more thing to do, uh, and that is to mob proof this. So I need to place buttons or something along here and make sure mobs can't actually get up here or over that. And I need to place some kind of cover over top of this so that phantoms don't spawn if I'm doing a long AFK slots here. Uh, actually, one more thing is to get some kind of pick renewing station over here set up so I can throw away a pickaxe and get a new one dispensed to me and then I can mend them all at the end uh, but that's for later for now this is just to work um, and yeah as I was doing that this first layer is almost done I'm gonna call it call each one of these layers because it just makes more sense to me yeah I'm pretty happy with the farm um, I'm just gonna wait a little bit more for it to freeze over and then we'll try to do a first harvest and see how it goes. Alright, so all of the ice is pretty much frozen over here, so uh, let's take off our boots, hop in here, and hold left click. And we should get pretty much all of the ice. Um, the only problem with this uh, specific design is you don't quite get all of it. Uh, there is some loss uh, however, I've tried, I've tried to minimize the loss as much as I can by adapting the design. And um, there are a few more things I can do, but for now this will be just fine. Uh, I'm gonna do the phantom protection later. And for now I'm just gonna 
get some ice for myself so I can make some blue ice. And yeah, this is pretty much how the ice farm works. You just go along and you should be able to get quite a bit here. Um, I forgot exactly how much, but it's a lot. So yeah, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so I'm looking through here and the water's refilling now. And there's, there's a few bits of ice here and there that have gone stuck. But most of it most of it has gone into my inventory, which is good. And uh, now we can go to the next bit. So how it would work is you just continue over here. I, I'm not pressing anything on my keyboard. This is just my computer AFK for me. The ice is pushing. And it's all working just fine. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty pretty good. Uh, I'll go through the whole farm real quick, and we'll see how much we end up with, I suppose. Okay, so I've stopped picking up the ice, and I want to see after this um, section of farm how much is left on the actual ice blocks that are on the stream here. Okay, we're almost done. And it doesn't look like there's too, too much, but I did just see some joining over there, and... Yeah, because we're not picking up all the ice, or not picking up any at all right now, that there's some getting stuck here and there, that's where the losses come in. And then all of this ice is going to make its way through the farm and over to the start. Um, I did not make any automatic collection system there yet, so um, I think I'm going to go through this little bit, and then I'm going to go over there and get rid of all of my ice. But there goes the ice over there. Uh, get rid of all the ice in my ch in the, some chests I put over there, and then finish up the farm. Alright, just getting some ice here and there now. Uh, should be a lot more coming in shortly. Ah, I see where the problem is. There's a sign missing over here. Uh, not to worry, I can fix this. If I can get up there. There we go. Fixed. <laughs> and the rest of the ice is coming in just now, so that's perfect. Uh, it might it might have not been loaded actually. Might be just just slightly out of entity loading range. Right, let's put the boots back on so I can actually walk here. Was that it? Uh, yeah, that was it. Okay. Alright, so that wasn't too much ice, but we didn't go through the whole farm yet, and uh... Yeah, it's gonna be night time soon, so... I guess I'll do that after I sleep. This this farm is going to need a little bit more finishing up, just just some finishing touches here and there, like the automatic collection and the mob protection, and then it's going to be perfect. All right, so I went through the whole farm. Now let's see how much ice we have. All right, so in the end we had almost two double chestfuls of ice, and by the time we came back here, admittedly a little bit later than you would have done in real time. Um, the first layer here has already finished freezing over, so that's good. Um, and then this next one is almost done as well. So that means that the timing for this farm is pretty good. Um, there shouldn't be much loss due to water having not frozen. Uh, I have noticed a few small issues here and there already, um, where when the water goes backwards, it doesn't always go all the way to the end because some ice might freeze early like instantly and then it doesn't carry on going to the end and then yeah that causes some issues uh, because water will not be able to freeze where it's not a full water block but I, th I think that issue is fairly rare uh, I've only had it happen twice and that was probably 
probably bad luck, I'd say. Um, for water to instantly freeze into ice as soon as it becomes a water source is pretty rare to say so. Yeah, that's pretty good, and we almost used up the whole pick, so we'll actually have to use uh, netherite pickaxes for this. We can't use diamond picks, because a diamond pick will break. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with this, so... Uh, um, I'll talk a bit more about iris shaders. So, I really like it, because uh, you can toggle them on and off. Uh, this continuum, it's quite laggy. You can open a menu for shaders as well from the game. You can change them out real quick like this. Optifine does not go this quick, uh, and then you can toggle this on and off as well. Um, quite like this one actually, personally. Um, this is probably the easiest one to run, but Continuum probably looks the best, and BSL is probably... BSL is like in the middle for me. So yeah, uh, this is this is now one of my favorite mods, and it's it also makes the game run really good as well like whilst i'm recording over here is particularly quite laggy for shaders because the ice is quite hard to compute um so i'm i'm guess getting over 30 fps here while recording with my big render distance on with shaders i i'd say this is pretty damn good considering it's my world as well my world struggles to run and then if i toggle shaders off look at that over 100 fps instantly well, nearly. I'm recording, so there's some troubles. But yeah, that that's going to be it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss anything out. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye. And from all that, we get just over a stack of blue ice.